We are outlining! <laughs> Hey friends, what is up? Welcome to my hotel room. Things are a little crazy right now. I have officially started the outline for my middle grade project. So I wanted to start this writing vlog, bring you along. You guys loved the last writing vlog that I did. So figured I would document this part of the journey too because I'm super excited about this project. So I'm hoping that my outline at the end of it will be long enough that I have a really good start to each chapter. So let's get into the outlining. I did already of course do Save the Cat so I have a better idea now. While I've been outlining I have been working on the character profile and I just love her so much <laughs> she needs a name though okay it's a couple days later and i am working on the outlining process for my novel and i found a really helpful video that i will link down below um that basically made me switch from that nine block thing first um and do this first and it was yeah just a second it's super simple. Basically just write a small summary of the entire idea. And then from that summary, you list out all the scenes that need to happen from that idea to get you from point A to point B. So I did that and let's see how many I have. 24 scenes, which I think is a really good place to start. So now that I have done that much, I'm going to keep doing that process. The idea is to go back and fill and fill and fill in that um, until you have like a full outline. Also, hi, it's me. I did not prepare for this video at all. Uh, I still have like a pimple patch on. Um, haven't even washed my face today, but I'm living in a hotel right now. So this is the way it's going to be. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to go back through that a couple more times just to see if there's anything that I can add. I'm thinking that maybe adding like a rival antagonistic force, um, because I want, because since it's a coming of age, middle grade story, I want to have like friendship be very important. So I think I want to highlight like a falling out that the main character has had. So I think I'm going to add in those like main the elements of that throughout as like an ad antagonistic force aside from like the ticking clock and um the main character's own uh issues she has generalized anxiety disorder like me so um th i'm hoping that's going to be really fun and like maybe also therapeutic to write um so yeah that's where I'm at right now and I think it's going really really well. I am so excited about this idea. Um, I've wanted to be a writer ever since I can remember and this is the first time that I've ever like thought of something and been like someone is going to want to publish this. Like I feel this in my soul <laughs> that this book is like the book so fingers crossed. <laughs> just wanted to update you guys uh from yesterday that i now have 44 scenes in my scene list um i have some really good notes this document is 761 words and i did add in an antagonist um you can see in the highlighted elements there and then this i started doing a chapter by chapter summary um, which I think is going to be really helpful in the outlining and writing phase. Um, and this, doing these two methods instead of just trying to figure out one way to like do an outline with different beats has been so much better for me. It has made so much more sense. Um, I am at chapter 7 now, so made some good progress. And this document is already at... 
600 words. So I'm really happy with the progress so far. We're about to hop on a plane and move across the country today. So I don't know if I will actually get to any of this today. I'm hoping that I will be able to, but this is what we have for now and I'm really happy with it. What is up? It has been a couple days since I last touched base with you. Actually, I think it's been more like a week <laughs> at this point. Um, we are in the middle of our move, currently waiting for a house, but I wanted to give you guys an update because I did get some good writing done on the plane as far as outlining this book idea. Um, so I actually now have a complete chapter summary for all 18 chapters that I'm anticipating being in this book. My um, chapter summary is currently at 1200 words and then my scene list um, also has some questions, some things that I can add and play around with and that is at a thousand words. So I'm so impressed with myself for <laughs> the progress that I've made. Like I said, I tried a different uh, approach to outlining this novel um, that I found super, super helpful and it's really, really worked. I'm interested to see if this is something that will work for me for other projects or if it just happened to work very well for this one. Um, so maybe I'll do a video showing that process like step by step. Um, as I work on another idea, whenever that is. Um, let me know if you'd like to see that. But yeah, I'm really excited where this is going. I have a plot um, and I feel really confident that I could start drafting tomorrow if I wanted to. I'm not going to, I really do want to, but I'm trying to hold off on drafting. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I could work on this for like a Camp NaNoWriMo project in April. Um, I don't wanna rush it, so. The plan right now is to look over these two documents and I'm going to be swapping them with my critique partner in a couple of days. So I want to go over them, maybe have my husband look at them um, and see what he thinks. And then something else really exciting that I have done is I have picked up a couple of middle grade books to kind of read just to get an idea for voice and like how narrative styles and middle grades work. Um, I actually got saw a really great list of recommendations from Lindsay Puckett. Um, so I will leave her channel linked down below as well. She is um, a middle grade author and she actually has a book coming out in October of this year, I think. Um, so her video was so helpful um, on like middle grade recommendations for anyone writing middle grade. Um, so I definitely picked up a couple of her recommendations and then a um, one that I thought was similar in vibe um, and plot, not plot, but like um, concept to what I'm working on. So I'm excited to jump into those. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I got for you right now. Here is the summary in all its glory, except spoilers, so I'll probably be blurring this out. But I have a 57 scene list right now too, so that's really exciting. 